Here's my Bumble Up A1 3D printer and these are the 7 mods I've installed to make it even better. Hello and welcome back to my channel. The Bumble Up A1 3D printer has become hugely popular, mostly thanks to its user friendliness, reliability and price. Because of that, on pages like Maker World you can find wide range of 3D printable mods, upgrades and accessories for the A1. Some created by the community and some shared by Bumble Up themselves. In this video I'll take you through 7 upgrades I've installed on my A1 and explain why I think they're worth it. The first upgrade is almost a necessity if you own the A1. Like other Bumble Up printers, this one features an automatic filament load and load system. This system cuts and retracts the filament from the hot end and any remaining material that's left in the nozzle is being extruded into small waste piece, often called filament poop. The printer then ejects this waste using a built-in mechanism. Without something to catch these filament poops, they'll just end up on the floor. That's why one of the first things I've printed for the A1 was the filament poop bucket. Initially. I used a different model for the bucket, but after installing the top mount for the IMS, I had to switch to a design that fits with added clamps for the stiffeners. Speaking about the top mount, this is the second mod I've installed, especially useful if you already own the IMS. If your Bumble Up A1 combo takes too much space on your desk, you might want to consider printing and installing this AMS top mount. This mod relocates the AMS to the top of the printer by attaching it to the Z-axis frame, reducing the printer's overall footprint. This model comes from Bumble Up, but before I printed it, I tried a different design from another creator. Unfortunately, I ran into an issue where the PTFE tubes were too short. If I read the description carefully, I might have realized this beforehand. Oops. Still, I might give it a try in the future again, because this mount is compatible with another mod I want to install on the A1, which is the AMS enclosure mod. But let's get back to the official top mount. The parts take some time to print and require a fair amount of filament, as the stiffeners are designed to be thick for added stability. Installation is quite easy, but there's also a video guide on the model page. First, you take a C-clamp from one side and install it on the frame. You have to watch out not to break it, depending on which material you use for printing them. Then you take one of the stiffener brackets, put it in place, secure it to the C-clamp and the frame. You do the same on the other side of the printer. To assemble the top mount, add a little bit of grease into the rotating socket, then place one part into another, place in the secure pin and connect everything with a 3D printed screw. Use the longer screws to attach the latch and finally place the top mount on the frame and secure it by closing the latch. Now we can move the AMS unit and place it on the top mount. First you need to disconnect all the PTFE tubes, then remove the four screws that are holding the AMS in the stand and use the same screws to secure it to the top mount. Additionally, the model also has this 3D printable PTFE tube channels that indicate which slot number on the AMS it is for better organization. Additionally, I ran a full calibration on the printer since the weight distribution now changed so for good measures, I think it's uh, it's good to do. Also for better results, it is recommended to print this mount with uh, stronger materials like PTEG or ABS. This next upgrade links actually to the first upgrade on the list. Actually, if the filament poop bucket is quite high, you don't really need the deflector, but this one that I've installed also doubles as an additional nozzle wiper. So the first part of this model, the shield, helps direct the extruded filament into the poop bucket, while the other one ensures your nozzle stays clean. This can be really useful when recording the time lapses of your prints. One thing to keep in mind that I've noticed on my printer is that the rubber may accumulate the cleaned filament waste, so it's good to check it from time to time and clean it. The installation is super simple. You attach the shield on the left side of the fling mechanism, you attach the nozzle wiper holder on the other side and you, you connect both parts with a bracket from the back. Then you just need to take the nozzle cleaner rubber that came with your printer accessories, cut it to size and stick it into designated slot. Now the next upgrade is the flexible cable guide. Originally I had a different mod installed here but I've decided to change to this one because I think it looks and functions better. This model comes in two parts and these parts 
help with the sagging of the black cable to prevent any interference with the print head movement. One piece attaches to the camera unit side and the other smaller piece secures the cable at the print head. To install it, simply push the cable into the guide and then snap the guide onto the cable mount. Now the next upgrade, which is the cable chain. Now this mod isn't just for aesthetics, even though it looks really good. It also helps to guide the power cable to the back of the printer during the Z-axis movements. While the print consists of multiple parts and takes some time to assemble, the end result looks great. The installation might be a little tricky though, so it's best to follow the video guide on the model page. Here's how to install this mod. You need to flip the printer on its side to access the bottom where the power cable exits. Unscrew the latch, open it and position this part into place. Close the latch and secure it back with a screw. Now on the camera unit remove the front panel and install this part. Watch out because placing it might be a bit tricky. Assemble the cable chain but keep in mind that you might not need all the parts. Secure it to the other two parts that you already installed and use the included clips to close the cable inside the chain. This is one of the mods that not only improves the cable management but also makes the printer look much cleaner. The Bumble Up A1 3D printer comes with several accessories, including tools and some spare parts, but keeping them organized can be a challenge. This drawer box helps store everything in one place, making it easy to access when needed. It also features dedicated slots for some of the parts. Well, there are many other designs that you can 3D print that will keep your accessories organized. I like this one though, because not only it's functional, but it also serves as a mini shelf for my 3D printed duck and mini Deadpool. <laughs> Now last but not least is this holder where I store all of my print plates. I currently have four, so three plus one on the printer, but this holder can hold up to five. What makes this one stand out is that it has these small levers that you can use to lift the print plate you wanna take out. There are several other print plate holders available on Maker World, but I really like this one. The assembly is super easy. First, you need to take all the levers and attach them to this small part. You do that by using a piece of filament. When that's done, cut the filament to size and take the assembled section and insert it into the larger part. These are the seven upgrades I've installed on my Bumble Up A1 so far, but I'm already thinking about adding some more. If you want to install any of these ones, you'll find the links to the models in the description below. Please share in the comments any recommendations for other upgrades and what kind of mods you've installed on your 3D printer. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. See you in the next one. Bye!